Hello everyone, Justin here again and today we are going to draw our last chess piece which is the king. So let's go ahead as before, start with a vertical line that indicates our center line for our piece. And at the top, let's just draw a line, let's just draw a horizontal line and another one below so that we can draw a tapered rectangle just like that keep it symmetric to the center line and then just below that we'll go ahead and draw another parallel line connected at the ends by a half circle so that it sticks out from there and then step in and draw a short vertical line and connect those, those short lines with another horizontal line. Okay, so below that, just a little bit wider than this line right, this space here, we'll draw another horizontal line. This time a little bit wider and connect it to that last line with a outward curve just like that and I'll just make that a little bit darker okay next we're going to go down even wider and draw another line again wider and extend this line here a little bit wider still and as before like here we're going to connect these two lines at the ends with a nice wide curve okay so let's look at this side here do the same trying to keep it symmetric about the center line and darken it okay now what we're going to do is go down this height twice over so here's one height second and a third and maybe make it just a little bit longer so right here let's draw a another horizontal line we are going to make this horizontal line a little wider than this feature here so this feature would go down about this far so we'll make this a little bit wider so maybe out here and again on the right side same so now what we'll do is we're going to step in here just a little bit same here and we're going to draw a big curved line that goes in initially narrowest point is about a third of the way down and then start flaring out so in a little bit and start flattening out and start flaring out to the end of that line and let's do the same here so our nearest point is right here so let's mark our point right there on the right side just so we have an idea of where to go Okay, start drawing this line curving in to hit that point and then slowly start flaring out to the corner. I missed that a bit but that's okay. Alright, let's erase some of our lines there. I'll go, ahead, I'll go ahead and make this darker and we're actually going to extend it now a little bit farther. keeping it even on both sides and then draw another horizontal line parallel to all those lines we've drawn we've been drawing down here even wider still than this so let's go maybe this far here and look over here make sure that this is the same as this 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw this line to come out following this curve out and then back into this at the end of this line. So follow this curve out and then in. Same here. We're going to follow this curve out then in. Okay, let's make that bottom line darker. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw another parallel line. And one last line. Okay, and we're going to connect these two lines with a curve at the bottom so that it's going to be a little bit wider than this section here. Okay, so we can make these a little bit darker. And finally, connect this bottom section to this upper section. Remember when we curved in, here's our point. Draw a straight line, short straight line. And that pretty much finishes the, the base of the king. So let's go back to the top. Let's go ahead and darken this feature up here. And right up here, we'll go ahead and draw this slightly curved, but you can keep this straight if you'd like. Okay, and darken this upper line. So now, we're going to draw a slight curve so that the top of this part will be domed. Just like that. Okay. So the distinguishing feature of the king, of course, is the cross. So let's continue our center line to the top. So at the top, let's draw a square. Let's divide the square and put a cross in the middle. And then a smaller square inside. So what we're going to do here is stepping in from the corner a little bit, we're going to draw a line to this inner square. From this corner, step in a little bit on this side and draw again align to this to the corner of the square and we'll do that for all corners okay so now we can finish our cross just connect these lines like this and the bottom. And we can erase all of these layout lines. So then we'll go ahead and connect the upper cross to the base here with some couple short lines. And now we're ready to shade. Okay, so let's go ahead and just um, Shade in the cross lightly with a solid tone because it's a flat surface and make this connecting piece darker with a cast shadow right there. And this part of course will catch a lot of light, we'll leave that white. And then start shading in this conical section. Getting lighter as we go to the left, darker on the right. And this feature here will darken the lower half, same with here, and definitely this one. 
to show that it curves it's a curved surface with the lower part more in shadow and as before make the right side darker same here and this part here will, will be is more recessed so I'll just make that pretty dark so this part is this so this part here extends out compared to this so there'll be a cast shadow here so let's go ahead and put in a curved shadow like that and this shadow then will extend to the right side of this whole tower Okay, so as before, we'll leave a highlight at the top edge of this section and start shading here. And this part curves in, so let's make this section, lower part, darker. Blending into the dark right side. Okay, this part catches a lot of light just like up here. So we'll leave that white, but then getting a little darker out here partly from a shadow from this protruding area and then this part again the lower section will make that darker so that's the king I'm just gonna go ahead and darken the darker areas a little bit more the shadow areas with my softer lead pencil and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video, got something out of it. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell so you'll know when I've uploaded. I am trying to upload pretty much every day if I can. And have a great day.